Okay, the integration of something with a base e, well, it comes from f dash x e to the f of x. When you integrate it, you end up with e to the f of x. So just applying that, if you have e to the 5x dx, really um, the f dash x is actually 5, so there should be a 5 there. That's why you've got to go divide by 1 to the 5. I've got my plus c. You've got to divide by 5. So it ends up being 1 one fifth e to the 5x, because it's e to the f of x. So further on that, um, let's just say we have e to the x plus e to the minus x and we square it. Uh, in order to work that out, it would be e to the x squared plus 2 times e to the x times e to the minus x plus e to the minus x squared. So just using a plus b all squared, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So it's going to be the integral of e to the 2x plus now this here is e to the x times 1 on e to the x. They cancel out to get plus 2 plus e to the minus 2x dx. So now integrating these, this one the 2 is missing out in front, so it's half e to the 2x. Integral of 2 is 2x, and integral of e to the minus um, 2x is you divide by minus 2, so it's minus a half e to the minus 2x plus c. Now, further on that, so we have uh, 7x e to the x squared dx. All right, so this should be your f dash x e to the f of x, and it's going to equal e to the f of x when you integrate it. So f dash x is 2x, because f of x, f of x equals the x squared, f dash x equals 2x. So that means that 7 there is dodgy, so put it out the front. So it's x e to the x squared dx. There should be a 2 there, because the derivative of the f of x is 2x. Divide by the 2, so it's 7 on 2 e to the x squared plus c.